Hello and welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I review fountain pens and some related things. Today, uh, before I get into the review of this fountain pen, what I would like to do is give you a little bit of an update. And first, I want to say thank you to everyone who watches this channel, subscribes, to everyone who interacts in the comments. Uh, just a, a lot of great people uh, that uh, watch and, and share their views and everything and help each other out sometimes in the comments with advice on fountain pens and I just I just want to thank you for your participation and all of that because I think it's been fun and I've enjoyed it and I know a lot of you have as well so along those lines uh, probably by March it looks like if I keep going at the same rate we ought to hit a, to what's in my mind uh, a milestone of 5,000 subscribers and when we do I'm gonna have a giveaway and I want that one to be a really good pen to give away so I'm I'm thinking about it and and, and thinking about just exactly what I want to give away I haven't decided just yet but that is coming up and so I'm looking forward to that in the spring. Now what I've got today is the Meister by Point Slimliner fountain pen. This is not a pen that was on my radar and uh, had never heard of the company until I saw an ad for this on in JetPen's newsletter and have dug around and really I can't find much information. Maybe if you know this is part of that thing that I enjoy about this channel is that if I don't know it, somebody out there does and can share it in the comments. So if anybody knows any more about the Meister Pen Company, I know they make mechanical pencils and things like that as well, be sure and share some of that information in the comments because I had a hard time finding anything about it. But this one is a slim pen. It The things that I look for in a fountain pen, this has basically well, none of <laughs> most of the time. This doesn't have any of those things. That's actually what intrigued me when I was looking at it in their newsletter uh, that JetPens puts out is that I thought, what an odd little pen. Uh, it is meant to be a slim pen, and my wife really likes it, and I, I think I know why. It kind of looks like things already in her purse. They look like uh, like a the first thing I thought of was like a, a mascara thing, odd little pen, but that's not what intrigued me at all. What intrigued me was uh, the nib and section and it's just unusual and short and that's like a hooded nib in a non-hooded pen which I guess just makes it a very tiny conical nib right uh, but kind of kind of interesting. So uh, let's go ahead and flip the camera look a little bit closer at this pen and what uh, makes it interesting and then in the writing test I want to share with you my impressions of what it's like to write with this pen, which were not at all what I thought it might be like. Uh, nothing like great big explosive. Big, but different. So let's uh, flip that camera, take a closer look at this pen, and just dive right in. All right, so let's look at the Slimliner pen by Meister by Point. This is a very thin pen, and I'll put the specifications up here in just a second. We'll do a size comparison later with some other slim pens, but it is pretty slender, which most of the time I don't care for, but there are exceptions. I like the Vector. I like the Muji pen. Uh, there are pens I like that are smaller in diameter, but uh, this one is, is quite small, and uh, very, very minimal in design. Now, I actually like that it's minimal. I do wish there was some sort of a roll stop. I mean, this thing is just a uh, very uh, roll away free kind of a pen. But other than that, and, and, and I, one other thing I wish, let me just go with the things that, that, that are to me cons. There is no way to post it. These are identical in size. And so this cap, which is has no roll stop either and is extremely light, could be very easy to lose as well. It does have, as you can see, a plastic liner. This is a very thin metal uh, cased pen with a very, uh, very, very thin bit of metal. I mean, it's it's really light, but it does have the plastic sleeve. I've not had any issues with it drying out. I have uh, Noodler's Apache Sunset in it. No issues whatsoever. This is a medium point pen, by the way. Very, very simple design. So nothing at the finial, nothing at the bottom of the barrel. Just, just a P. 
pin <laughs> with this little ring. It does have a trim ring, and that's it. That's all that interrupts this pin anyway whatsoever. And this is not flat on the end. There is just a slight curvature to the finial, just very slight if you can see, but not much not much going on on the outside of that pin. But you may have already noticed when I opened it up, there's a lot going on on the inside that's unusual. Let's talk about some of those things. One is, of course, that cannot be posted at all. And for something that's meant for everyday carry, that would be a, a negative for me. Now, when you first look at this pin, you probably think, wow, that has a small section. And it is a small section. I would refer to this as a feed section. I would not consider this a grip section in any way whatsoever. And in part, that's because of its extreme thinness. And you will notice that this is a tubular nib like you would find in a shrouded or hooded nib pen, like in a Jinhao 51A, something like that. Very, very similar steel nib. I don't know if they make their own, if they source this from someone else. Unfortunately, I just have no idea. It's an extremely simple design like everything else. It is minimal. And so that's what you've got. My apologies for not cleaning it first. Uh, you can tell that I've actually been using this pen. Uh, but very, very small uh, section and nib. So I, I would not try to grip it there at all. I think it's a waste of time. I don't even think it's designed for that. Just hold it back here, in which case the grip section is the entire length of the pin, which is long enough, by the way. Even though it's a short pin, it is long enough that if you hold it here, it's actually quite comfortable and no issues there whatsoever. But I think you can see the scale of the pin here in this view. This is a, a small pin in every way. Uh, not too short, but in every other way. So, like I said, not a grip section. That's just there to hold the nib. I mean, you can barely grip it here, you know, to unscrew the, the barrel. And then when you do get it off, you find that it does have a converter, which is awesome. I love it when they include converters. This is an international standard converter. Seems to be of good quality. I've had no issues with it. So good so far. Um, but you will notice there's something unusual. If you look right here, you will see that there is no, usually there is uh, a shroud basically that comes up and around the actual connection of the converter or the cartridge and the feed. And there is nothing. The nib that goes into the converter or the cartridge here is completely exposed if I were to take this off. And let me just, I don't think I'll make too big a mess, except that I don't have anything to hold on to. But you will see that it is completely, you see there, I'm not going to take it the rest of the way off. It feels like it's just going to pop ink out of there. But that is unusual. Maybe there are other pins like that. I've never seen one. And that is, from what I can tell, because this pin is so slim, there simply isn't room for that shroud. So that's, that's kind of an unusual thing. I've not had any leaks from it. It's a pretty tight fit, snug fit. So I think they may have uh, done that to compensate for the missing shroud. But that's, that's definitely interesting. Just not your, your ordinary fountain pen. It's not anything wacky or out there, nothing like that. But just some interesting decisions. And when you put them all together, it makes for an unusual fountain pen. So uh, those are decisions they had to make, compromises they had to make for it to be this slim, which for whatever reason was apparently their goal. Uh, but then you get to this question that we always get to. Okay, so it's slim. That makes it compact, easy to store, easy to fit in a pin case, a backpack, or whatever. Although usually you have enough room for a normal sized pin. Um, but if you had a use case for a very thin pin, or you just like smaller diameter fountain pens, the question is still going to come down to this. How does it write? And that ultimately, besides these, just the interesting uh, different design and engineering choices they had to make to make it thinner, uh, whether or not it writes well is what I wanted to know. This has a medium nib, and uh, so you have an expectation of smoothness and line uh, more than you would a fine or an extra fine. So let's, uh, let's flip the camera again, and let's do a writing test, and I, I think it's going to be kind of interesting, so hang with me here. All right. Oh, see, out of habit. Cannot post. Out of habit, I just was ready to go there. Again, very light. 
pen and uh, well balanced, I think. I I saw one uh, review. I think it was on Jet Pens from customers that they felt like it was a little too front heavy. But honestly, I I can't tell that at all. It seems pretty well balanced and uh, quite light. And like I said, you're going to end up. You don't just ignore that. Don't pretend it's a grip, and you won't be frustrated that it's so small because it's it's pointless. Uh, Meister by Point has a pointless grip, and. Uh, just grab it back here and then you'll be able to find a good comfortable position and at that diameter uh, it's it's similar to a lot of the grip sections the narrow end of a grip section on a lot of pins that I have so I'm just gonna call this the slim midliner is that the right or slim liner I think I've said midliner this whole time and I think it's just slim liner and this is again a medium point and it is quite smooth I will say that I I think it's pretty good and this is Apache Sunset by Noodlers Rhodia paper uh, lined because that's what I keep here at the office right out here on my desk and uh, I'm gonna be quiet and let you listen to this uh, this microphone's pretty sensitive so it'll probably pick it up even though it's a pretty quiet pin There. So did you hear anything? I was awful quiet. I was actually starting to go off and I could have forgotten that I was recording. I was going off into my own little world. Uh, nice quiet day this week. Sounds like a good thing. I don't know about you. But it it writes really quite well and it keeps up. The flow is just excellent. No issues. I've had no dry starts. I've had no dry out. I've had no skips. No issues whatsoever. So as uh, a functional pen that's uh, made some compromises on size uh, to meet a certain style, I think is the deal. Uh, I found it to be a great writer. I found it to be a surprisingly comfortable writer. And every evening, pretty much every evening, I sit down and write a page full of quotes from a particular author. I think I mentioned that in the last review. And... Uh, this I've, I, I have used this one for that already, and uh, between that and notes uh, to people and things like that, just in a uh, like a normal sitting down doing quick work uh, setting, I find it to be a perfectly competent pen. And I can see where a pen that you would uh, keep with you, <laughs> you do have to keep it from rolling here, let me put it on the rings there. Uh, in that kind of a circumstance, just a handy pen, uh, keeping your laptop bag, you know, purse, whatever you got, very, very handy. Now, I can't, I have a pen loop for my calendar. I have a Habanichi calendar, and I can't use it in that because it doesn't have a clip. So, you know, that's one of those compromises they made. But if you've got a use case for this pen, it's a decent writer. It is a decent price. The only place I've seen it is Jet Pens. Uh, they pay me nothing. They gave me nothing. Uh, but that's the only place that I have seen it of the stores that I tend to buy my, my pens from. So uh, I'll put a link there so that you can find it, and then you can go from there and find it wherever you want to. But... Uh, I actually have found that it's a pretty decent pen. Let's do, right quick, some pros and cons. So pros, I always like to start with those first. I don't know why, but that's what we're doing. Uh, one would be, uh, it is very light and handy. That might seem like a, a small thing. That might seem like a very light one. Uh, but hey, somebody out there, that's what you're looking for. Uh, I find that it is a comfortable pen to write with. And when I first saw that section, when I took this out of the package, I really had my doubts. But uh, once I had it in hand and 
feel like it wasn't, I don't even think that's designed to be for grip, then actually it's it's pretty comfortable pen to write with. No issue there whatsoever. I find it to be very reliable. And for me, that is very important in a fountain pen, and I think it's a good value. And I will say that it ought to be easier than normal for that style of nib to keep clean, although I have not tried to take this pen apart, so I make no promises, you know, every now and then. You think something's going to be easy to do, and it's not, so just, you know, know that I don't have any idea on that. I haven't tried. Cons. Uh, hey, by the way, did y'all notice I didn't take the deep dive on my O there? I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention to those comments. Okay. So anyway, uh, cons. I, no uh, clip or stop. I don't even think I care which it would be. Either a clip or a stop uh, would be, for me, a much better thing. But, uh, you know, that's they wanted a certain style. So it, it's, it's only a negative barely okay because practically speaking day-to-day -day use I have to put this pen between two other pens all the time to keep it rolling off the desk and that's especially important to me because this week I had uh, my Moonman M600 roll off the I don't even know how roll off our kitchen table which is uh, kind of a, a bar height table and land on a hard tile and I've had to I've had to do a little bit of super glue this week, a little bit of damage, but I think it's I think it's I think it's going to be all right. Uh, but this one would have just kept going. Wouldn't have broken this pin because it's metal. So that's actually I guess that'd be in the plus. Uh, for some, that's going to be a plus that it is a metal pin. The other negatives. Let's see. You know I do wonder. Uh, I'm going to put that there's no sleeve around the. Uh, feed. Maybe that's not a big deal. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe in the long run I'll be converted to seeing that as a positive or a neutral, probably just neutral at the best. Uh, but I can see where that could be an issue. Uh, if you're not careful, you could uh, yank on that converter the wrong way and mess up that nib, uh, or nib, the uh, not a nib, but the, the feed that goes into the cartridge. Uh, that, could, that could be an issue. So I'm putting it down. Other than that, uh, I don't. I don't guess I really have any. I, it's been a reliable pen. Uh, the style won't be for everybody. The size won't be for everybody. Those compromises won't be for everybody. But if you're the somebody it's for, then I think you're actually going to get a good pen. I think you're going to get a good value overall. Uh, just be aware of those different uh, eccentricities of this pen. Let's do a quick size comparison and uh, wrap this up. So here is that slim liner got the name right finally and then this is the Oto Tasha this I think would be the pen that I would choose between the two for me but I can I'm gonna say that only because of the clip and that it's a little bit shorter making that handier for me in my use case in actual quality I would probably actually lean toward the slimliner and in appearance I think the slimliner looks better I think yeah uh, this finish on the Oto would actually be great but the Oto is a very handy little pen and is actually longer when you post it and it's postable also uh, I think now here is the Muji pen let's put this on the other side the Muji pen is itself a slender pen love this pen it's just, but it's giant compared to that. So that gives you, a lot of you have a Muji, that gives you some idea of the size. I'm going to move this down. This is the Zebra, or Zebra, depending on where you live, V301 fountain pen. I've had this a long time. I've never I've never reviewed it on this channel. I should do that. Uh, been a very reliable fountain pen with a great extra fine nib. And uh, it also is a much thicker pen, but it's a slim pen, okay? It doesn't look like it next to that one, but it is a slim pin. And then you have, take that out of the way, you have the Parker Vector, another slim pin, and it's bigger. And of course the Bauer is gonna be the same size as the Vector. Uh, but you've probably got something 
in this line to compare that to, I've got in my pocket a Parker Jotter uh, as my pen today. You can just see that it is quite slim. Uh, the length is fine. It is shorter than most of these, uh, all but one. But it's lighter than all of them. And it does have a nice style, I will say that. I think it's the minimalism on it, I think is worth the compromise. I see what they were going for. Uh, and it writes and performs better than I would have thought that it would have. I don't know if you noticed, but with Apache Sunset, it did an awesome job of putting ink, enough ink to the paper that it shaded the way that Apache Sunset should, and not all uh, pens do that. And I thought this one did that very well. So there you go. Do I like it? You know, actually better than I thought I would. And uh, for somebody with a use case, uh, or you think that that's just a style that somebody might like, it'd be a good gift pen for somebody uh, that just likes that minimalist style. And probably my wife is going to get this as a gift because she really liked it uh, when I showed it to her. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. It's a good pen. God bless you. Have a great week. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. You'll get us closer to that 5,000. And then I'm going to give away a good pen. All right. God bless you. Have a great week and stay safe.